What's going on YouTube? This is Necroskevo and it's time for week three of the Pokemon Premier League. Now of course this week the Eternity City Inners are going up against the Baron Munich and they are coached by Shoddy. Be sure to go check out his channel in the description. He already has the battle up on his side. And of course, he's such a good battler. We really had our work cut out for us this week. Um, yeah, just uh, not not only did he just have a lot of things that were threatening my team, I also didn't get a chance to breed the way I really wanted to, and I didn't bring the sets that I planned on bringing. But you work with what you have access to. So what did we end up bringing? We brought back Banded Pangoro. Uh, I did notice that it kind of blew a lot of holes in this team, even without me predicting necessarily. Um, he kind of struggles to switch into it. Uh, I also have a Choice Scar Chandelure. I really thought he was going to bring Mega Law Punny to this battle, and he did not. Choice Scar Chandelure with just enough investment to outrun Law Punny, and then I put the rest in the HP to better soak up some hits from some other stray Pokemon. Uh, just to kind of be something that could just come in and force things out with overheat. Uh, then I also have Swords Dance, uh, Life Warp Caesar because that could clean up pretty well on this team as long as I weaken some things. Um, and then of course I went with Mixed Abomasnow because he really didn't have any good switch ins to Blizzard. And I ended up going with um, Giga Drain over Seed Bomb. Really wish that I had brought Seed Bomb to this battle. But uh, he didn't have any really good switch ins to Obama Snow either. So that was my game plan going into this. Was let's try to just overwhelm him with physical um, pressure. That That's what the plan was, at least. So uh, I was very pleased to not see um, Lopony on his side. I really wanted to bring a different uh, Rotom to this match. And I also wanted to bring a different Zygarde. But... You know, you, you really have to work with the tools that you are given. Um, of course, shout outs to Kelly under the radar for giving me high quality for this week too. Thank you so much for recording this for me. Looks so nice. Um, in the beginning, uh, he starts off with Thunderous and I really should have just gone straight for Ice Punch because that, that would have obliterated Crobat. Uh, but he brings in Crobat. Of course, Crobat does not have an item. So knockoff, even though it was banded, didn't really do anything because I'm not going to be able to two hit KO it. And I was, I was really, really close to staying in and knocking off because the Brave Burr was so obvious. And I figured he might U-turn. Um, <clears throat> so he actually does end up U-turning, but I did hard switch on into Rotom because I didn't want to lose Pangoro. And that gives him a free opportunity to set up his Stealth Rocks. Here, once again, I predicted him to switch out into either Thunderous or his uh, Crobat, predicting the fighting type move. So I went for Ice Punch this time. It does nothing and he burns me with Scald as I freeze him. Now here the freeze doesn't really matter because he can always thaw himself with Scald. But because I do get burned that means I don't live to fight another day and Pangora goes down really early in this match. That was pretty unfortunate. Uh, Shoddy makes another very 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 bold play right here. Um, I bring in Obama Snow. Could have very easily gone for the grass type move. Um, and he could have simply switched into Thunderous or into even even Porygon 2 would have been a great switch in. But he just stays in and goes for Scald again, snagging himself yet another burn, which sucked because that completely neuters my Obama Snow. Um, and just Blizzard really doesn't do as much as I expected it to do. So he actually um, might have had a pretty good specially defensive investment going on there. Just. Uh, the burns really, really debilitated me this match because because of burn, I lost Pangoro, and now I can't even use Ice Shard as a reliable way to hit Thunderous and Crobat. So uh, we're just gonna keep going for Blizzard here. Uh, he could have switched in Skun Tank too. I I have Earthquake, but it it really didn't matter that I had those moves when I'm burned. Uh, that cuts down my longevity. Stealth Rocks are up too. I can't even really switch in and take hits like I really wanted to anymore. Burns suck, man. Now uh, here I did predict him to recover because he really doesn't lose anything by doing so. And I also figured he'd probably switch out back to Seismitoad if I brought in Rotom like this. But I wanted to burn Seismitoad because that would basically go ahead and whittle it down. I thought between the burn and the hail, uh, he would be at a range where um, he would probably be KO'd after one more turn. And 
I figured I could just sit in front of him and use rest and get back up to full HP, get my chest berry. Granted, this is not the original set that I wanted to bring to this match, but I definitely wanted to bring Rotom to the match because it, it was able to threaten some things. Unfortunately, he goes before me and knocks off my chest berry. <laughs> the Rotom that I really had in mind initially was definitely a lot faster than the one that I brought. Uh, but that's okay because I do still get back up to full health. Um, and since he's burned, knockoff doesn't really do that much damage anyway. Now the really, really unfortunate part here is that he gets to go out into Manaphy and... Manaphy severely threatens the Pokemon that I have and I can't even switch in a Bomb Snow now on a Scald. Because I'm lose I've already lost so much HP and it's... Like, I have zero switch ins to Manaphy. So he gets a free tail glow up, he gets to blow Rotom away. Poor Rotom there, he really didn't get a chance to do anything this battle. So I go out into Chandelure, I know I can't one hit KO Manaphy with an energy ball, but I have to put offensive pressure on it in order to stop him from running through my whole team. Uh, another option I could have gone for right here was to go out into um, my Zygarde, but I I think that would have been bluffing at best, and so now that I've put the damage onto him, now I can go out into Zygarde, because from this range I actually have a pretty decent chance at KOing. Uh, since he was running leftovers, it's unlikely that he had max speed, whereas I had a pretty hefty speed investment to get the jump on any mana fee that was trying to be bulky. Uh, just going to go straight for Outrage, really hoping for a two turn Outrage. Because Porygon 2 can come in here, recover the damage off. I know I can live any Ice Beam from Porygon 2. So it's just like, please don't keep going for Outrage because I need to boost up with Dragon Dance before I can finish off Porygon 2. And wow, that Ice Beam does do a lot of damage. But uh, after two turns of Leftovers, I should be able to take another one. But unfortunately, I get locked in the three turns of Outrage. And I was actually hoping that he would go for Ice Beam again because then he'd be at a range of HP where Caesar could come in, threaten him out, I could get up a Swords Dance or just Bullet Punch him in the face, and we could go from there, but he does make the safe play and recover. Uh, this is really unfortunate because you may have noticed I haven't actually knocked out any of his Pokemon, and he's knocked out several of mine. Uh, Obama Snow was a, well, and originally it was a decent switch into Porygon. Uh, here I switch into Obama Snow purely as Death Fodder, I wanted to see if he had Hidden Power Fire. Turns out that he has it. So, uh, pretty unfortunate there, all around. I thought that Caesar would take this Hidden Power Fire a lot better than he ends up taking it. Um, I had a decent amount of specially defensive bulk on Caesar, and I figured that he didn't have any investment on his Porygon, but he definitely had some type of investment on that Porygon too, because he takes me all the way down to four HP and the hail finishes me off. That, I, I could have just gone for knockoff to remove his uh, Eviolite in order to let Zygarde maybe finish off the Porygon too. But, geez, that was just, that was just unfortunate. And here I just Dragon Dance in, in vain. Um, I'm not going to be able to live another Ice Beam and Hail, which is, that's, it just sucks. That means we lose 0-6. That was a really difficult battle to, to narrate again. Uh, at the time of the battle, I kind of went back and watched my last video for the for the PPL, and I, I felt like I was in a much better headspace. Normally, I don't get, I don't really get frustrated at a loss or anything, but it has been a long time, a long time since I've been six would that badly. I think not since I haven't been six would really since fifth gen. Uh, so that, if nothing else, it was incredibly refreshing, and I can't feel bad because Shadi is such a good battler. So, uh, yeah, that was a hard loss, guys. We're going to have to bounce back even harder. With all this bouncing back, I'm going to have to do. You might confuse me for a spoink. Don't confuse me for a spoink. The Eternity City Enders are down, but we are not out. There's still a long season ahead of us. And uh, if I've learned nothing from watching other people who start off the seasons on on a sour note like this is that hey you just gotta plan for the battles you have ahead so that is what we will certainly be doing in the future thank you very much shoddy for the fantastic battle uh, I de I think I did prep correctly I definitely was surprised by him not bringing mega lop honey 
but it didn't really end up mattering at all as several of his Pokemon didn't even hit the battlefield. Now, as far as next week goes, not next week, that's like next quick combined with next week. I, I can't speak, apparently. Small seizures, small seizures are what we have. Uh, for week four, the Eternus and the Inners are actually going to be up against the, um, I think I'm, I'm kind of blinking here. Who are we going to be up against? West Chan United. That's who we'll be going up against next time. So that'll be a thing to prepare for and to look forward to. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great week. All right, guys. Bye.